Here we go with the broken free throw shot. Oh, baby, you got to come to my camp. So this is one of the weirdest situations I've ever seen from an NBA player. Is Markel Fultz injured or is this all in his mind and he has the yips? In my previous video, you guys were calling me dumb for saying he was injured, but I actually think it's all in his mind and it's all mental. Hey, it's a good thing Jimmy Butler got traded to the 76ers. Now Jimmy can encourage him and help him build his confidence like the way he helped Cat. This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The man cannot play the game of basketball. He has small hands. He can't catch the ball. He's got bad feet. He can't really move, even though he's mobile. Doesn't really know what he's doing. Doesn't have a post move that he, he puts to memory that he can do two times in a row. He has no game whatsoever. Plays no defense. Doesn't have the heart, the passion, or anything that comes with it. And you're asking me whether this game up too much? Please. This view right here is proof that the monsters are taking away his basketball talents away from him. Like what the hell is going on? Bruh. At this point I'm not even sure if this is a jump shot or a pass. Yo his jump shot looks like Charles Barkley's golf swing. <laughs> Do you guys remember who Chuck Hayes is? That, I don't know, Barb got the flagrant one and that's why you see Hayes. That shot right there has got a hitch in it. That's that's one of those lane violation shots right there. Yeah, that guy. And the Heat now the team foul limit the Sixers for their part in the penalty. A rather uh oh oh my goodness. That's one of those you don't even want to watch. At this point, I think he should be starting to spin on his foul shots. Bruh. But for real though, I think Markel Fultz needs a change of scenery. I think Markel Fultz needs to be traded to another team for him to succeed. Not because I don't think he's talented, but because he doesn't fit with Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, and Joel Embiid on the team. It's just not a clean fit. Teams will know that neither Ben or Fultz will shoot it, and they'll double team Joel Embiid in post. I actually think Markel needs a clean start. He actually does everything well, rebounding, passing, defend, but the problem is, he can't shoot, and that's what Philly needs right now. Free throw here. Let's watch it. He had one the other night. That was very questionable. Well, it's old. that's it's a little off. Maybe that's why. So it appears that the reason why Markel Fultz's jump shot was broken was because of this. Does shooting on the ground really make your jump shot better? Bruh. I'm sure most of you guys remember past Sixers GM Brian Kleinjoel's Twitter account burn incident. Where he said a lot of insulting things regarding 76ers players, and one of them being on Mark Fultz's jump shot. So here's Brian Colangelo defending himself on Twitter against 76ers fans. But how do you explain this? Why do you let a trainer who knows nothing about basketball convince him to change his jump shot? Why can't he find a stroke? And Brian Colangelo responded on his Twitter account with this. Because the trainer was his father figure and dating his mom. What? Or if somebody would care to go look for the story of what happened with his so-called mentor slash father figure. It would explain a lot about the shoulder and Fultz's state of mind. The so-called mentor tried to force him and change the shot. Bruh. Tapes the surface of the guy making Mark Cole shooting while on a chair, while on his back, on the floor. The guy denies it, but why is nobody reporting this? Yo, don't worry Brian, I'm reporting this. I got you, don't worry. Some of these so-called NBA trainers make up these stupid drills that actually ruined the NBA player's career. Hopefully Fultz can come back next season with a fixed jump shot and prove everybody wrong. Anything close back to his college form and it'd be solid for the 76ers. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with you?
with you. <laughs> So this Markel Fold story is getting weirder and weirder every single month. He can't even hit a regular jump shot anymore. Bruh. But what's strange is that he can hit a turnaround jump shot. I mean look at this footage right here. He can make that turnaround jump shot with no hitch in the shot. Look at this. Bam. Smooth. And then you look at this, his normal set shot. Hitch. There's a hitch right there. People were saying that he was having a shoulder injury, but you can't be shooting a turn on jump shot normally and dunking and making layups and you have a shoulder injury. I actually don't think that he's injured right now. I think over the summer, someone changed his shot and now he can't remember how to shoot properly. I mean, look, look at this. His turnaround jump shot is perfect, all smooth, everything. But his set shot is broken, there's a hitch in it. So there's a report out now that Markel Fultz and the Sixers are using VR goggles to help with his shooting struggles. I mean, I have VR myself, and there's no way that VR actually helps with your jump shot. I mean, look at this, here's me playing VR. Oh my god. I'm Lonzo balling it right now. Bruh. Lonzo ball! Mm. Lonzo ball! Mm. Oh my god, I'm breaking everything. There's no way this helps. Steph Curry! Mm. Steph Curry! Mm. Lonzo ball! Bruh. Oh my god, what? I'm missing everything. Yeah, shooting virtual reality led to this. Yeah, virtual reality basketball does not translate to the real court. Here's Markel Fultz shooting a set shot right now. Mm. And here's him shooting back in college. Do you guys see the huge difference? Another thing I noticed is his terrible body language. He always looks so down. Every clip I've seen of him with good form is him shooting off that spin move. Do you guys think Markel Fultz should start spinning on his free throws? Bruh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Help me! Help me! And whenever he shoots a set shot, there's a hitch. Hello, Ted! Hello, Ted! One day he's shooting normally, the next day he's shooting with a hitch. It's all mental, like, I think it, it has to be mental. I think it has to be in his head, because one day he's shooting normally, the next day there's a hitch in the shot. Like, I don't understand what's going through his mind right now. I mean, the Sixers held out Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid the whole year. I'm sure they're cautious with faults, but yeah. Here's footage of him shooting before the draft. And it looks pretty good. One of the reasons why the Sixers drafted him was because he could actually shoot. That's why people at the time were saying that the Sixers should draft Malik Monk. Because before they got JJ Redick, no one on the Sixers could actually shoot the ball. And they needed floor spacing for Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Another thing no one mentions is that the Celtics robbed the Sixers. But yeah, man, the Celtics robbed the Sixers. I don't know if you guys seen this footage before, but before the Celtics traded away the pick, Celtic fans were burning Markel Fultz's jersey. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. Even before Markel Fultz played a single game in the NBA, fans were already burning his Celtics jersey. And Sixers with Jason Tatum, Dennis Smith, Donovan Mitchell, any of those guys. And including a top 5 pick in this year's draft as well. Yo, Sixers would have had a crazy future if it traded away Fultz. I'm not saying he's a bust as of right now, but that jump shot's making me nervous. So this is probably one of the craziest situations I've ever seen from the number one pick. So let me know, do you guys think this is all in his head, all mental, or is it actually an injury that he actually has? Bruh. 
Ramirez got a hitch in it. That's, that's one of those lane violation shots right there. So I'll be reading all the comments on my video and respond to a lot of them. So don't feel free to like, subscribe, and also don't forget to turn on the bell notification because if you don't turn on the bell notification, you won't get any more notifications off of my channel. You get nothing. And I'm out. Peace.